Dude. What are you doing? What? I'm getting ready for the show, aren't I? Yeah, and what's wrong with it? I was been for the last three years, four years. Oh, yeah, we've got to be a bit different today because we've got the phone in. And so I've got to be able to hear them on Why? the phone as well as us being able to hear the guest host talking. Okay. Sounds, sounds fair enough, but why? why? Oh, 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 who is the presenter? Who, who have we got? Peter Stevens again, isn't it? Again, Peter Stevens. Why not? Oh, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. But again, he's so boring. Yeah, he's a bit boring. Isn't he? yeah. He's been on the show loads. But sponsors want him. Look, but all you've got to do, right, is for one last month, give it together, it'll be really good, and then next month, you get to be the guest host. Yay! Well, oh, well. Yeah, that does sound good, actually, yeah. yeah. That does sound good. But I ain't promising nothing. Oh. Mate, I hate him. I can't promise to... Can't promise it. He's, he, you know, he needs to be taken down the peg or two. Also, man, why don't you put it on loudspeaker? Just keep it down as you always has. Always been. Loudspeaker. Yes. Yes. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. It's not. It's going to be shit, but whatever. So, what's going to happen on the show then? There's no guests. That's just ridiculous. Well, they're kind of our guests, aren't they? They're going to phone up. And we're going to hear them talking to us. Like, so you the, on the phone. the whole show is just going to be him. Like, it's revolving around him. Well, and the, and the phone-in people. Well, they're kind of like invisible guests, aren't they? Because you can still hear them. And what are they going to be talking about? I bet it's really something, really exciting. It will be. Yeah. Like parking. Well, parking. <laughs> like parking. <laughs> yeah. Man, it looks parking <laughs> questions, doesn't it? They are. Loaded yeah, market, thrilling, right? thrilling stuff. Really hard-hitting journalism. Well, people get all wound up about parking, don't they? I'm getting wound up about parking. Because it's fucking boring. Oh. And this is going to be the shit show ever. Look, please. See, lads, look, he's got to do his bit, all right? Now, just think of the golden horizon of you being the guest host. It will definitely be more exciting. Well, then you've got to get there first, don't you? Without ballsing it all up. I don't balls it up. Give me a list all the times you balls it up, do you? Yes. Yes, I do. I don't believe you. I bring class and stability to the show. Right. Yeah. Just keep it stable then, can't you? Mm. I don't like him. Intro, intro. What to do? Come on, Peter. Peter, Peter, Peter. Okay, so, um... Hello and welcome to right here. No, that's too Mick. That's too Mick. Um, so this is right here, right now, and I am Peter Stevens. Uh, it's too dramatic. I don't know. Um, okay. Right here, right now. Peter Stevens, for the many, not the few. Yeah. Look, dude, I really need you to call me up for the show. Look, look, all you need, look, just talk about, you know, my outreach programs, things like that. that yeah, you know, the, the projects I've been working on, I've, I've been doing some really cool stuff in the city. Just, you know, pick me up, you know, just talk about... It's not that complicated, man. Literally, you call up, and then... Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll I'll say yeah. How how are you? And then you, you praise me, praise me. I I need look. I know the election's just been, but we've there's still more to be done. We need to actually engage about this. We we need to get get people talking about us and actually keep our approval ratings up. I mean, yeah, you know, politics never stops. It, it doesn't stop as soon as you get elected. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is right here, right now. With your guest host today, Peter Stevens. Yes, so I'm here today uh, to do a little bit of a spin on things, actually. Um, we're actually doing a call-in show for the many, not the few. Peter Stevens is my name, and we're going to have you call in and talk about some of the fantastic work I've been doing uh, all over this city. You know, we've had some amazing response rates, and I think it's time that we should hear from you, our public. See what your opinions are and what's been going on. I'm me. I'm me, Kevin Decline. I'm also here. Hello. Oh, and uh, yeah, so also uh, Kevin Decline. Good to be here. Good to be introduced. Thank you. About time. Yeah. And uh, 
yeah, so uh, stay tuned and uh, get, get those calls in fast. Oh, and we have our first caller. So. Hello there, you are through to Peter Stevens. Hi, I just wanted to comment on the ballot boxes that we were using last week. Um, I, I'm not sure if they were the best ballot boxes you could have possibly used. The, the... And the pencil was a little bit sharper than what I'm used to. So I was just wondering if... Then something in the sharpest tool in the box. The, the... So, sorry, what was, what was that? Don't, don't worry, that, that was Kevin. Um, so, the, the ballot boxes. Yes, the pencils were very sharp, and they were a little bit too pointy for my liking. I prefer a 2.5, usually. Well, and you can't do as much damage with it. My other... sorry, sorry, what was that? I said you can't do as much Kevin, damage Kevin, with it. Kevin, can please, please let, us, let us hear out this person? They, they, they clearly have a concern about the ballot boxes. So, yes, please continue. Ballot boxes, sharp pencils. And our second caller, here we go. Let's check this out. Hello, and you are on to Peter Stevens. How are you doing today, sir? Hello, I'm doing great. Um, I'm calling about the youth outreach program. Ah, uh, yes, the outreach program. I'm really glad that you brought that up. That's something that's really... It, it, I'm so, so glad to hear that this is actually something that is having a positive effect on the community of Portsmouth, bringing people together, bringing young people, giving them a, a place to, to express themselves. Yes, exactly as you said. I do agree, I do agree. And before we continue, I would like to compliment you guys on everything that you've done, allowing the, the youth to just uh, get together and uh, maybe express themselves through the graffiti. That is fantastic. Thank Especially you. Through giving them a creative outlet. I love that. That's super fantastic. And I'm really behind your project. It sounds really amazing. I really appreciate your kind words. Thank you so much. It's just so good to hear that my my work is actually getting the the recognition it needs to actually make real change in this society, in this city. It is amazing when you allow people to express themselves and give them a creative outlet where they can network and just come out of their shells. That is fantastic to me. And any place where you can allow people to speak about the world and uh, maybe climate and all that, that is fantastic and whatever you're doing keep doing it because i am really enjoying it. and i'm behind you and we will have an army behind you because you're doing what we like and it's really amazing thank you so much well we will have to move on to our next caller we really appreciate all your time for calling no in worries, thank you so much you for your comments do you know that guy no of course not blew an f smoke up your ass didn't he but this is going very well well, yeah, I mean, we're, we're getting some engagement, we're, we're doing what needs to be oh, done. Oh, yes, sharper pencils, oh, oh too sharp the pencils, oh, but the ballot boxes, oh. Okay, yeah, it's like, we, and, need, we need some more engaged callers, agreed, but... Well, well, well like that guy that phoned up, he's clearly your mate. I mean, he was not my friend, like, oh, I don't know on. that. Hey, just because my outreach campaigns are actually getting out there and people are knowing what I'm doing does not prove that that person is someone I know. Didn't know that. Who were you going to say? You were going to say their name then, weren't you? No. Well, yeah, you were going to. What? You know what's called. I know what's called. It's, it's, it's okay. It's okay. I mean, it went well. Like, people were interested. Yeah. That guy was talking about his curb. He, he went on and on and on. Oh. Yeah, he did. He did go on and on. But lots of interested parking yeah, questions. There and we it was, go, you know. It was interesting. It's it, 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 good. No. This, Boring, oh. man. I liked it. See, yeah, but he, he understands. Just because, look, just because you don't engage he with... He watches action. news nights and fucking... Exactly. Parliament shit. Exactly. These are the kinds of... They can't even stay awake. They're sleeping all the time in there at that show. Well, they, it, that's because they're clearly not... They don't care as much as the people like Marty here, who actually does care about what's really going on. Yeah. No, it's all the curbs. I like, I'm interested in all the curbing stuff. It's like and drainage and that kind of stuff. <sighs> Maybe yeah. you step up a bit. Hello there, thank you for calling in. You are through to Peter Stevens, I'm right here right now. Hello, am I on? You are indeed, sir. How are you doing today? I'm very well, thank you. I'd like to talk about the car parking. Car parking, yes, a very, very relevant uh, issue to our city. Do well, go on. Where, where I live, it's, it's loads of cars parked up, and they're right outside my front door. 
my inside my parking space and no one can visit me because they can't park. This is a big, big issue, certainly so. Well, we are working on a few projects to hopefully, hopefully uh, resolve uh, the parking issues, due, uh, such as obviously uh, restricted parking areas and uh, resident-only parking for certain areas, and you know the things that can obviously ha help improve your standard of living in this city, sir. Yes. Yeah. So this is something that we're definitely working on for sure. Uh -huh. The car park, because the thing is, as yeah. I said, people can't yeah, no, visit me, you know, they're parked it, outside my yeah, house. Yeah, exactly. It covers up my parking space. I mean, I haven't got a car myself. I've yeah, a I completely space. agree. I'm not allowed one. With I you, yeah. Uh, okay, well, I, 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 I empathise with you. Uh, I do empathise with you, sir, and we are going to. This, as I said, this is part of the initiative that we're working for right now. We are working towards. Improving your parking situation. Does that mean I'll get a space? Yes. A space for everyone. For the many, oh. not the few. Oh, and our next caller. Okay. Hello, and thank you for calling in. You are through to Peter Stevens on Right Here, Right Now. I'm it's glad you're enjoying it. Yeah. The problem is, the graffiti, fucking graffiti, mate. Oh, Jesus. It's horrible. It's I saw it. I saw You know what you should do, Peter? File a report. File a report with the council. Peter, file. <laughs> Peter, file. Fuck. Yeah, fucking yeah, mate. You should file a report, mate. Peter file a report. <laughs> yeah, yeah, anyway. Yeah, the parking. It's a nightmare. It's fucking port, mate. Jesus. Awful stuff. Yeah. Cool. Kev? Kev, come on. Is that you? No, mate. No, no, no. No. Mate, I can no, hear... No, man. I don't know. Fucking... What? what Kevin. Do I can hear you through the... <laughs> what? 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 Like, what's... Oh, come on. The other guy you knew, you knew so why not me? I didn't know him. Yeah, come on. Don't believe you. <sighs> Okay, so thank you. That's all we have time for for today. My name is Peter Stevens. Thank you for coming in. Uh, thank you for all your call-ins and thank you for all your time and your kind words about the campaigns and your suggestive comments. So, yeah, thank you and good night. Mate, thank you so much for everything. Like, And thank you for the opportunity to be on the show. I mean, it, it's fantastic to actually, you know... Be, we've had we've had an amazing episode. And thank you so much for that, man. It's, it's been fantastic. Oh, that's, that's cool, man. That's, I'm more than happy to help. Obviously, yeah, like yeah, mate, yeah. Mick would have been proud. Mick would have been proud. Absolutely, like you've done him proud, mate. Thank you so much. Come here, you. Come here, you. It's all right. It's all right. You take care, Marty. Okay. I'll be seeing you later. Yep. Yeah, see ya, mate. Legit. Why is what is your problem with me? I don't get it. Every single tiny little thing you try and undermine me on, and uh, it's just boring, man. It's boring. You know you're, what? You're corrupt. I'm, you're corrupt I'm, as well. Pol dodgy politician, man. I, your friends phoning up and so big you I'm out. done trying with you. Like, no, that's alright. Because don't matter. Because now I'm in charge. I'm gonna be. In charge, so. <laughs> oh God! So, oh, know, don't don't good. get me stop. Good luck with that. Yeah. Good it's luck be with that. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Fuck off. See ya. Fuck, he's gone. All you have to do is keep quiet. I think I did pretty well. Where's mine? Cheers. Oh. Hmm. Ideas for the new show. Right, where to begin? How do we overhaul this? Ah. <laughs> and that, and that is very good. No one wants to listen to that. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. Come on, better than parking and bloody things. <laughs> oh, that's not legal. What do you mean it's not legal? Can't do that on the air? I'll find a way. You can do that. It's not legal if I'm you not do doing it. Doing that? <laughs> oh, what do you think about this one?
<laughs> yeah. It's gonna be good. What right, ideas you got then? Come on, let's hear some of yours. What would you do? What would Mick do? What would Mick do? Oh, for fuck's sake. Start again. New show ideas.